And this year's Eid Kabir is taking place in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. With infections nearing highs of 170,000 in Nigeria. The question is to go out to celebrate or not? Plus TV Africa's correspondent Aneta Felix has more on how Muslims are keeping safe this period. Today is a sacred day in Islam, as Muslim faithful mark Eid al-Kabir with a feast. As Nigerians celebrate, Dr. Chimma Onoka, professor of community medicine, and Dr. Oladapo Ashinyobi, a public health physician, both urge the people to observe all COVID-19 protocols. Stay protected in, you know, um, keeping their face masks on, especially when they're in crowded places, and really avoiding those crowded places, given the distance that is required, and, um, you know, following the rest of the protocols. People have to really keep to this health advisory. It is not government that will be ill. It is us citizens that will be ill if the cases rises. Dr. Ashiobi also warns Nigerians of all faiths to take safety precautions during the Eid celebrations. The virus does not discriminate between religion. And you know we all intermingle. As in, even if you are not a Muslim, you have friends, you have family. Also, most of you visit them or they visit you. And because it's a public holiday, people still go about their social activities. So there's increased mobility and interaction. So this advice is for everybody. When PLOS TV Africa visited the Lekki Central Mosque, the facility manager assured that they have put all protocols in place to stay safe as they celebrate the festivities amid a global pandemic. You could be able to see that we've marked the ties whereby the, the worshipper can stand to pray so that there will not be touching each other. This Muslima says she's committed to following COVID-19 guidelines as she celebrates with family and friends this period. I've been maintaining it actually by washing my hands, using hand sanitizer, using my nose marks all the time. To reduce large gatherings on the day of the festival, the Presidential Steering Committee has recommended the decentralization of the aid prayer and has put Lagos, Oyo, Rivers, Kaduna, Kano, Plateau and the Federal Capital Territory on a red alert. Aneta Felix, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.